Enter FX. Coming at you on the Monday after Signature Bank in New York was closed over the weekend. Obviously, Silicon Valley Bank and Silvergate, two crypto banks, got closed. Looks a bit spiteful there. Um, the depositors don't have to worry. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably going to take some time for these deposits to have to move, but. The Fed made some moves. We're back into some form of QE. Obviously, this is stocks higher, right? Bang, 1.7%. Um, and dollar lower. So let's take a look at Euro. 107 handle, 107.15. So gapped open from 38. Opened at 80. Down to 70. Did not close this gap. Um, I think this is a green light to sell uh, to sell dollars, right? So we're not going to chase it here at the open, although there will be some buying. It's 6:38 in um, London right now. Uh, the eight o'clock systems are going to buy. Um, are we going to see 10807 today? Mm, maybe. Uh, are you going to be able to get uh, some euros cheaper? down below 106.70 on some sort of gap fill probably not uh, we'll probably be fishing between the figure and 80 to buy some euros gold obviously bid is all fuck as well uh, traded up to 94 now is creating a bit of a tail here uh, we're not going to chase gold 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 should remain bid and you just have to figure out what your horse is going to be you want to sell dollars against something um, we don't like Aussie because we feel risk is not in the safest position um, we don't like cable because the UK is fucked we don't like dollar Swiss because we're heading towards 90 centimes so euro uh, is an interesting horse let's go back to euro Norway interesting bar on Friday perfect doji um, this traded up to what 37 um, but then closed back at 27 oil is bid we're back risk on this and then all you know the global rate structure is coming down again so one of the reasons Euro Norway kept shooting higher <clears throat> is because the European rate structure was a little bit more hawkish than the Norwegian um, can you sell in the Euro Norway today um, above 11.30? I think you can. What else is out there? Euro Swiss. Uh, Euro Swiss is taking a beating, obviously, because of the global fear. And so down to 97.83, but now we're back bid again, 30 bid. We think buying Euro Swiss low ones now in this sort of new risk on we're certainly going to be risk on for a couple of days now. Uh, makes a lot of sense. So cheap Euro Swiss also makes a lot of sense. Dollars are. We're not touching that shit. Maybe Dollar Max is a good sell. Yeah, we talked about selling Dollar Max up at 35. God, it went up to 60. Um, we were obviously busy with a whole lot of shit on Friday. We did not look at Dollar Max too closely. This is probably a good sale. Dollar Mex, um, Mexican economy is kicking ass. This is a favorite sun. Um, the question is, is where do you get in this thing, and do you have to leave your stop above sixty? Kind of do. God, that's like a percent and a half away. Tricky. You want to drill down into the short term? I don't know what to say. The gap is forty-eight. Are these gaps going to get filled? Eh, I don't think so, but maybe. We are fucking jaded about Ethereum. We picked up some cheap ones over the weekend. Um, down at 14.05 and 14.15. We got scared when stablecoin problems were happening so we tightened up our stops took a small profit we knew you uh, just had a feeling we were gonna get fucked on this uh we got long again at 1470 but 
20% to the full amount just because it was so much higher already. Uh, we've already flipped out of that at 1585. So we made 100 bucks on Tiny, but we had a nice position there uh, and a little bit jaded on the Ethereum side. But Ethereum looks pretty fucking good. Uh, I like these apples, right? Bang, bang, bang. This is this is eventually going to make a new high here just because rates now unanimously are going to be going lower so we're entering on this sort of spooky risk on period uh, which is great for crypto anyway we're going to try and buy some euros today um, maybe sell some dollar yen maybe try and sell some high ones in dollar yen um, sell some euro norway perhaps uh, if dollar max goes back up to 50 we'll try and sell that as well Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.